Now that we've installed code blocks, let's go load it and run the, our first program. So I'm going to go to the start button and I'm going to go to all programs and you'll notice that I have a code blocks choice. I'm going to select code blocks, but before I do that, I want to right click and um, let's just go ahead and pin this to the taskbar down below. So now it's on the taskbar and I don't have to worry about it. It's always going to be easy for me to find. Then I'll go ahead and double click that to start it. This is the tip of the day. Sometimes they're useful, sometimes they're not. Um, most of the time I don't read them, so I'll just go ahead and take that check mark out, which means don't show it to me. And I'm going to close this out. Thank you. I'm going to associate code blocks with the C++ files from here on out. And now I'm going to close the script console. And now I have my standard Windows formatted screen. It starts up here with the menu bar, and then it's actually got four little toolbars, each of which comes into use when I need them. On the left-hand side, we've got the management window, which is where our programs are actually going to show and our projects are, and I'll just click on project, and that's going to give us a display of all of our projects. The main window, the start here window, is the work window, and that's where we're going to work in just a second bottom window down here is the logs and others. That's where the error messages are going to show when we actually compile and run our program. First thing I want to do is go over here to create a new project. And any project that we create right now is going to be a console project. So we're going to select a console application. And I'll select Go. And now we're going to be talked through the wizard. I like this wizard. It helps me organize things and make sure I don't skip any steps. So I'm not going to skip this page next time. I'll click on Next. And we do want to write in C++. I'll click on Next. And now we want to name the project. And I'm just going to call this project Zero because we're just going to practice. The project wants to be stored on the desktop. And that's OK. I do want to store it on my stick, however. So I'm going to open the computer. And there's my stick. I'll double click that. And I'll walk on down to where it says COP1000. And I'll open that. And there's my projects folder. That's where I want it to store. So I'll go ahead and click there. And you'll notice it's going to store it to my COP1000 projects folder. It's going to be called Project Zero. CBP. I'll click Next. This is the compiler I want to use. It's called the GNU or New GCC compiler. There are a lot of choices here. Just leave the one that's at the top. The rest of this dialog box I need not worry about. So I'm going to click on Finish. And now I've created my project. The screen refreshes. And you'll notice in my management window, I've got Project Zero. Then I've got Sources. And if I open the little plus right here, I've got my first function, which is my main.cpp. That's actually where I want to start. So I'm going to double click that. The work window opens, and it has given me the standard Hello World program. See you in the next video.